Hello precious people. I just wanted to make a quick video to just kind of clarify a statement that I hear and um, you know a lot from us Christians that we say God is in control, God is in control. And and I just want to define something. If your meaning um, that God is in control, meaning God is controlling everything, then that is not biblical. And we need to know this. And why is it so important for me to clarify this? Is because of the damage it can do to people. Because if we're telling people God is in control, um, and meaning again with the definition, meaning God is controlling everything, um, then which is unbiblical. If you have a different definition, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to the people that have the definition of belief that God is controlling everything, then uh, we are going to cause people to fall, to stumble, and I'll explain why. First of all, it's unbiblical because why? The Bible, in a couple of places that comes to mind, it says um, God is not slack concerning, concerning His promises, as some count slackness. He says, but is long-suffering, not willing that any should perish, perish again in here in the Bible many times when it talks about perish it's not talking about death because everyone's gonna die uh, when it says not willing that, none sh that any should perish means that, that any would go to hell so he's not willing that any would go to hell but that all, all will come to the knowledge of the truth and to repentance so his will what he wants he says it right there he doesn't want anyone to go to hell and he wants everyone to come to the truth and to repent so they can be in heaven with him well, if that's his will, then how come many people are not going to heaven? Many people have gone to hell and are going to hell. No, sadly. Um, many people are not coming to the knowledge of the truth. They don't want this truth. They want to believe what they want to believe. Many people are not coming to repentance. And we know this. So if that's the case, then how come God is not able to bring his will when he clearly says it's, he's not willing that any should perish? Therefore, if he can't control, if he's not controlling that, that means he's not in control, but he's in charge. He's not in control according to the definition that he's not in. He's not controlling all things. He's given us free will and choice, and he won't control. Uh, uh, he won't make us robots. He won't control our choice. He won't control our free will. He can influence. He can bring people into our lives and give us dreams, encounters, things like this, to uh, help us, guide us. Come on, don't go that way. Come, come to me. Come to my way. Um, but it's still a choice from us what we choose to, uh, to what we choose, you know, with our will. Um, there's another place as well. Again, it talks about that he does us that his desires for none to perish, but to all come to to all to have eternal life. Um, again, talking about not going to hell, but having eternal life. So again, look at his desire is for none to perish, no one to go to hell. Therefore, again, if he it's evident with these scriptures that he doesn't, he's not controlling everything. Now, why is it dangerous um, and can be a stumbling block to people? When we're saying to people, God is in control, God is in control, then he, with, and they don't, we don't clarify what we mean by that, and they think that God is controlling everything, then anything bad that happens when a, a child dies, a child gets hit by a car, some loved one gets uh, dies with cancer or whatever, we're saying that God's controlling that. God is put it together because he's completely divinely controlling all these things, that he controlled the situation so that your mother would die, that your child died, that that person had that accident and was crippled. You know, this is not what God is doing. And so if we don't clarify it, then God gets blamed for uh, the bad, the worst, the ugly, everything, because he's controlling everything. But he's not controlling everything. God is in charge. He's not in control. According to the definition that I said, he's not uh, controlling everything. Okay? He is in charge. So, yeah. I hope it blesses you. And please, when you, when, when you talk to people, um, maybe even don't say God is in control. You know, because then you have to clarify. Just say God is in charge. Um, yeah. And I will give you one last thing. In the Bible, it says that he gives the, his people all these ways they can live for God to be able to protect them and, and all this kind of stuff and take care of them and bless them and keep them in health and all this kind of stuff. And he says, and if you can choose this way or you can choose this way. Life or death. Blessings or cursings. He goes choose life so he tells them listen it's your choice if you walk this way you'll be okay if you walk this way my divine hand will be upon this way because it's my way 
But if you choose not to walk in my way, then you're choosing to aid off the devil's table. You're choosing to aid off sin, unrighteousness, wickedness. Therefore, you reap what you sow. You sow what you sow, you reap. So let's, I just wanted to clarify that because I keep hearing this whole thing. God is in control. God is in control. No matter what I hear, no matter what evil thing is happening in the world, oh, God is in control. God didn't want that at all that was going on here, these murders and death and all this kind of stuff. This is what man's bringing because they're disobeying God. They're choosing death instead of life. They're choosing cursing instead of life, instead of blessing. So, yeah, take care.